Hello, everybody. And how good is this? A live webcast joining coaches and players across the world. How frightening. But nevertheless, today, I am your sporting mentor. I'm very fortunate in the sense that every day, I act as mentors to some great coaches and some great players. And I build up a number of ideas about what greatness is. And today, I want to share 10 of them with you. But they will all have one theme. Performance follows attitude. Get your attitude right, performance will follow. Get your attitude wrong, and your performance will suffer. And my favorite phrase, the mind is the athlete, the body is the means. Now, fifth lesson. We've said before, attitude is a choice. Do we choose to be a victim? under pressure, or do we choose to be a fighter? Great athletes that I work with have the mindset of a fighter, and it doesn't matter whether it's practice on a Tuesday or a big game in a big arena on a Saturday. They always fight. Every drill, every practice, they fight because that's their habit. They cannot not fight. And that's a very important mentality. So the attitude is a choice, it's a response to a challenge. Now, I want you to watch a challenge from the New Zealand All Blacks. This is their traditional hacker, which they throw down the challenge to the opposition at the start of every game. Have a look at it. Fearsome. What would you young, you young people out there choose? Victim, fighter. Now, for years, many teams opposing the All Blacks slipped into fighter men, into victim mentality. So, at the start of the game, immediately following the hacker, the All Blacks were front foot fighter mentality, and the opposition was back foot victim mentality until the French decided not to accept victim mode, to be a fighter. Watch what happens. Oh, this is classic confrontational stuff. Of course, the French won that game. To improve your performance, always choose to be a fighter. Never accept being a victim. Stuart from Belfast has contacted us, contacted us and asks, what advice would you give to a young player who is currently on a scholarship programme and about to turn professional? And how would you advise that they conduct themselves off the pitch and stay out of trouble because we see a number of players in the headlines for the wrong reasons. Hi Stuart, um, this is what we would call a critical career point. This is where we lose so many talented kids because they are sheltered by their parents and by the youth coach to the age of 16, 17 and then suddenly they get their first contract and that shelter disappears and they go into the big world of adult professional sport. And sometimes in these clubs, 
there is nobody looking after them. There's nobody taking care. And here is a young man who all of a sudden has money, has time, has influences that are older than him. And, you know, it's difficult and we lose a lot of people to lifestyle issues. You're quite right to point that out. I hope he's got a good family because they'll take care of him. I hope he's got some significant adults around him. And I hope he goes to a club and some clubs are beginning to appoint lifestyle coaches. I hope he goes to a club who cares for him as a human being and looks after him at that very difficult period between 18 and 20. But it's, it is a critical career point.